Yo, yo, yo. So, today I keep on talking about creativity, MPC, some designing. Mm, as you can see, I, I get a SP4 for MK2, which I find it to be a great tool. You know, I like my MPC to make my drums. I like the, how I can get my drum pattern in it. Yeah, I'm not used to the SP4 for and uh, I'm not a big fan of the, of the sequencer, but it is a really interesting tool because you can easily some design with it. You know, you can change things, try things quickly. Mm, I don't have a lot of gear, but I like to try new gear to see to hear what I can do with my own gear. You know, I think that. Most of the effects out there can be done with uh, MPC Live, you know. But uh, the SP4 offer um, an easier access to FX. That's a, this tool is done for that, you know. You got a quicker access to FX you can do easily, resample. And for some designing, it is quite interesting, you know, because you can easily start with a sample and end it with something totally new. I can do the same, or partially the same, with the SP4, uh, with my MPC 500, but I first buy it because of, um, of a DJ mode, because I want to load all my most of my beat, you know, to make DJ set in it and to be able to get in a place and boom, make a little show with my uh, Lofi boom bap, you know. I don't know if it will happen, but I want to um, work on it. So if it ever, if it ever happen, I will be ready for it, you know. But my work is in my studio, you know, I like to be here trying things, testing things, and so on, you know. That's interesting, you know, you can... You know... It's really an interesting box for um, some designing. So let's get into it, you know. We'll make a bit with, I think I will start with that, but I'm eased. I'm not sure, maybe I will use this other sound out there, you know, which is. Here I resample it with delays, that's this one. And this one, you know, if I resample it with IDs to make something like that, you know. This is the ID, you know. That's the way, that's, that's why it is interesting. You can uh, try many things, it's just really some designing, you know. I am dating my I got this of loops this one it is uh, yeah it's funny when I was in my dark room
let's get it something more aggressive. Let's sample this. That's okay, let's go for it. No, I don't want desertion. I want one with delay. Let's see, that's it. Let's put it here, you know. Okay. It. Now I'll try to fight the ten. Let's unsample this also. Okay, let's get in record. I love this one. I will sample this. Okay. Roll the swishy hat. I will sample also this. So now I got this. Roll the swishy hat. Roll the swishy hat. Roll the swishy hat. Roll the swishy hat. I I pass filter this one. I will bend past this one. Yeah. So let's find a bit for this one. Right, let's try this one. Eighty four. Let's go for it, you know. Let's make the drums. So we'll get the drum quickly down, you know. Got to level my eye up to make more swing. I got my three tracks with my drums. Let's give it a try with sample. Okay, let's see. let's put the time correct. You know, quite close. Yes, that's it. Let's get for that. I just 
see that's the interesting part of the SP404 for me. My use is mostly to sample with it, play with the sample to get something stranger, you know, something different. And And to be, I can do these things with a tool I have already there, but the SP404 is really quick for that, you know. And when you want to be creative, is sometimes the easiest way up to be creative. I want a simple effects, boom, I, I'm making on it. Even if after I will use my SPX. 900, you know, to make it because I, I know there is another effects, be, better effects we can do this, but I got my template, you know right now, I, I got the ID, that's the thing uh, for me it is an ID box and hope to be a, a, digi, a digi box too but this is the tools so let's try it again, you know Oh, let's try with that. Would you really sell it? Would you really sell it? What is your price? price? I know the least. I know the least. I know the least. A thousand English cars. Hey, 